Hey guys, Rana here and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can install a free SSL certificate on your WordPress website. So if you see a message like this, connection is not secure, that means your WordPress website does not have SSL certificate in it. In this video I'm gonna show you two different types of SSL certificate that you can install in your WordPress website for free. First I'm gonna show you how you can install a flexible SSL certificate. Next, I'm going to show you how you can install full inscription mode SSL certificate and both of these certificate going to valid for 15 years that comes with free plan. Awesome, right? So make sure you watch this video till the end and I'll provide you a timestamps in the description box of this video so that you can watch any part of this video by going to that timestamp code, right? So let's get started and let's look at how you're going to install a free SSL certificate for your WordPress website. So let's get started. So guys, now we are going to install an SSL certificate on this website. If you hover your mouse over here on this lock, you will see connection is not secure, which means information shared between your website and your visitor will not be secure. To secure your website, you have to install an SSL certificate. So guys, there are two types of SSL certificate that you will learn on this video. I'll tell you everything about those SSL certificate, how to install them and what are the difference between them. First, we are going to install a flexible SSL certificate and later I'll show you how to install a full inscription mode SSL certificate. So let's get started and let's install a flexible SSL certificate. To install a SSL certificate, we have to create a Cloudflare account. So let's go ahead and open up a new tab. Let's open google.com and perform a google search for Cloudflare and open up this website cloudflare.com. So on this website, you have to create an account. Let's go ahead, click on sign up. Here type your email and type your password and then click on create account. So now we have to activate our Cloudflare account. Cloudflare has sent us a verification email at our email address. Let's go ahead open up your mailbox. So as you can see that Cloudflare has sent us a verification email. Let's open up this email and now let's verify by clicking on this link. So as you can see that our email address is now verified which means our Cloudflare account is activated. Let's click on continue to dashboard. Let's close these tabs. Now we can add our website on this Cloudflare account. To add a site, you can click over here or you can click over here. All right. So in my case, I will not add my domain name on this Cloudflare account. Basically, I'll keep all my domains in one Cloudflare account. Let me show you what I mean by that. So let me quickly log out to this account. So now let me quickly log in into my official Cloudflare account. So now I'm inside my official Cloudflare account. So these are my domain name and I'm going to add a brand new domain to this Cloudflare account. To do that, let's go ahead, click on add site and then simply type your domain name and then click on add site. So on this page, you have to select your plan. Let's scroll down and select free plan and then click on continue. Now Cloudflare is scanning a DNS record of this domain name. Now Cloudflare has scanned all the DNS record. Now simply scroll down and then click on continue. So on this page, Cloudflare is simply telling us that you have to remove your name server from your domain name. My domain name is registered with GoDaddy. So I have to remove GoDaddy's name server from my domain name and I have to add Cloudflare name server into my domain name. Simply, we have to replace these name server, right? If you don't get it, let me show you what I mean by that. Let's simply copy a name server, first one, and let's go to your domain registrar. In my case, this is a GoDaddy. So once you log in into your GoDaddy account, you have to go to my product. Under the domains section, select your domain and then click on manage DNS and then scroll down you will see a section called name servers. Simply click on change and then click on enter my own name server and type your name server over here. And let's copy the second one from Cloudflare. Let's go back to GoDaddy and paste the second name server. Once you do that, simply click on save. 
and select this option and then click on continue. So we are done here. Let's go back to Cloudflare, scroll down and then click on done check name server. So on this page, let's click on get started. Now click on save. Now you have to turn this on. Always use HTTPS hypertext transfer protocol and then click on save. Now click on save once again. One more time, click on save. And finally click on finish. Now we have successfully installed a flexible SSL certificate on our domain name. So let's go ahead and check it out. Let's go to your website and type HTTPS comma double slash and enter. If you see a warning like this, which means SSL certificate is not reflecting on your domain name. This is happening just because of caching. When your computer remove all the caching automatically, you will see SSL certificate working on your domain name. It may take up to 24 hours. Sometime it reflects instantly. However, you may have to wait for a couple of hours or a couple of minutes, but you have to keep checking your domain name time to time. Let's go back and open our website without SSL certificate. So now we have to install a free plugin on our website. Let's go to plugins and then click on add new and search a plugin simple SSL and install this plugin really simple SSL. Click on install now and then click on activate. Now click on go ahead activate SSL certificate. So before we proceed with our next step, let me tell you one thing. Your domain name has SSL certificate in it. I'm telling you this why because Cloudflare telling us your site is protected with Cloudflare. Okay. To prove that, let me open up this domain name with VPN. Let's copy a domain name. Let me use a VPN and let's open your domain name using HTTPS. All right, guys, as you can see, connection is secure, which means your domain name has a SSL certificate. So this is a flexible SSL certificate. Let me stop VPN. Let's refresh the page. And now you can see that connection is not secure. This is happening just because of caching. So don't worry about it. Wait for up to 24 hours. Let's open up this domain name without SSL certificate. Let's remove this S. Let's go to your Cloudflare account. All right, guys, now we are going to install a full inscription mode SSL certificate. But before that, let's look at the difference between flexible and full inscription mode. Flexible SSL certificate scales the sensitive information between user and your website, not a server. On the contrary, full inscription mode scales the sensitive information between user and your website plus between a server. So now let me show you how you can install a full inscription mode SSL certificate. First of all, let's go to your Cloudflare account and now click on SSL slash TLS. Let's click on this lock. All right. As you can see that if flexible selected information or connection secure between visitor and Cloudflare. If you go with full inscription mode end to end inscription mode, that means your server will be secure as well. So let's go ahead and select full inscription mode and now click on origin server and then click on create certificate and then scroll down. You can see that this certificate is valid maximum 15 years. After 15 years, you can renew this SSL certificate. But I think this is enough with a free plan. Now simply click on create. So now we have to copy these text and paste into our domain registrar. Let me show you how you can do that. Let's simply click on click to copy your text will be copied and now let's go to your domain registrar and let's go to your account. Let's go to my account and let's scroll down. Let's go to your hosting panel. Let's click on manage alongside with web hosting. So now we are inside the hosting panel. So I'm using a GoDaddy's cPanel hosting. 
let's go ahead open up a cPanel dashboard all right guys so now we are inside a godaddy's cPanel web hosting let's scroll down and now click on SSL slash TLS under the security section so here now click on manage SSL sites now scroll down here we have to paste our CTR but before that let's select your domain and now paste your certificate over here let's go back here let's copy your origin certificate let's go back to your hosting and paste your certificate just like that scroll down here we have to paste a private key text let's go back to Cloudflare let's copy a private key text let's go back to your hosting and paste it over here and now scroll down so now we need a authority bundle to get that go to the description box of this video and click on the authority bundle link and you will land on this website here simply scroll down and now click on Cloudflare Origin CA RSA Roots. Open this up and copy this authority bundle. And let's go back to your hosting and paste your authority bundle over here. And simply click on install certificate. And then click OK. Alright guys, now we have successfully installed a full inscription mode SSL certificate on our website. Let's go back to your website and let's log in once again. So you still see this message. Don't worry. Just wait for a couple of hours. Your problem will be fixed. So guys, I'll see you when my SSL certificate reflects on my domain name. One hour later. So guys, as you can see that my full inscription mode SSL certificate now reflecting on my domain name as well. So as you can see that there is no VPN. If I refresh the page, you can see that SSL certificate still there. For me, it took almost one hour to reflect on my domain name. In your case, it could work any time between 24 hours. You just have to wait for it. Alright guys, that is the end of this video guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you really did, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. And if you want to learn how to create AliExpress dropshipping website, then you can check out this video right here. This is a complete tutorial on AliExpress dropshipping website, right? And of course, you can check out other tutorial below that video. So that being said, goodbye and I'll catch you guys next time.